Billy, how much momentum do you feel that Cheltenham have got going into this with two wins in, in the recent past? Yeah, absolutely. Um, got, a lot of, got a lot of momentum now, um, coming off the back of two good results. So we're going into Saturday with a lot of confidence. We know they're a good side, but you know we're confident that we can get something. And the way that Cheltenham have been playing, you've been winning the games that you've needed to win against the teams in and around you. Is this almost a free shot, a shot to nothing? How do you approach against one of the top teams? Well, you know, especially if you're wanting to be there or thereabouts next season, these games are a good test to indicate where, where you're at and whether you can put performances like that and get the wins like that against the, the bigger sides in the league. So it's a good test for us. And the next two games are big tests. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what we can do. You know, we know that we're a good side in this league, and um, you know our position in the table is better, but better now. Sorry, but we we still know that we could we could be a lot higher. So if you want to be high, you've got to beat teams like this. So you know we're confident we can go there Saturday and uh, get something out of the game. And in a way, there's no pressure on you. But actually, when there has been the pressure on you, that's when perhaps you know the team have grind out the results. So actually, do you do you need to put the pressure on yourselves a little bit? Um, not necessarily. I think you've just got to approach every game the same, um, and that's what we've been doing, and that's how we're starting to get a, a little bit more consistency with our results. So we've just got to prepare the same and and go into it like every game, like it's a, it's a game of football, and you want to win it. Um, so I think that should be our mentality for approaching the game. But you know the the gaffer and, and the staff they're really good with our prep and things like that. So I'm sure we'll just. Um, prepare the same and yourself how's it been being back here you've been back here now for a month yeah um i mean has it been the case of just slotting straight back in uh not necessarily i mean a lot's changed obviously and there's a lot of good players in the side so there's a lot of competition um so i've definitely slotted in in terms of coming back and you know the lads have been really good and the staff um, but on a personal note, it was about getting my fitness back, and I think that I've done that now. Um, I feel really fit again, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Obviously, there was the penalty incident the other night, but Michael Duff came out and said, "Look, I'm not worried about Billy not having scored yet because if he plays the way that he's been playing, works like that, then that's fine by me." Mm. How much is that music to your ears? Yeah, I didn't know he'd said that, to be fair, so that's knowledge to me. Uh, but no, that's that's obviously really nice as a player. It's really nice to hear that, that all your efforts off the ball and on the ball um, are valued like that. Um, but obviously, as a striker, you want to be getting goals. Um, so if I can work that hard and get the goals as well, then happy days. And the link-ups with the players in and around you, you've already said there's some good players, but yeah. how do you feel those relationships are coming along? Uh, good, yeah. Um, I felt me and Reg linked up well on um, on Saturday, and um, you you know he's such an experienced pro. Um, I can learn a lot from him, um, and just the way he plays with that sort of tenacity is he, at his age. I mean, it's it's really good to see. So um, I felt like me and him linked up well, and it's easy to sort of know where the ball's going to land. He finds your feet, and I was looking to do the same with him. Um, so yeah.